Welcome to the Art Pathways at Bowie High School. I'll be talking about a pathway that you could take in the classes that are offered here. Now, if you start Art 1, your freshman year, this is what your pathway would look like. For your ninth grade year, you can take Art 1 or Advanced Art 1. Your sophomore year, as long as you've completed Art 1, you can now enroll in Art 2, Drawing and Painting 1, or Sculpture 1, and you're also available to take AP History of Art. AP History of Art does not have prerequisites, but it is only for students 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. Now your junior year, if you completed Art 1 through Art 2, you can now take Art 3, Drawing and Painting 2. And if you completed Art 1 and Sculpture 1, you can now take Sculpture 2. Your senior year, as long as you've completed Art 1 through 3, uh, you can take AP Studio Art and Art 4, Drawing and Painting 3. Both of these are senior level classes, but every once in a while in Art 4, we have juniors within that class. And if you completed Art 1 and Sculpture 1 through 2, you can take AP 3D Design and Sculpture 3. Again, also senior level classes, but every once in a while in Sculpture 3, we have a junior level student. And don't forget about AP History of Art. Now let's talk about the classes and what they do within them. Art 1, there are no prerequisites, and the grade levels are all levels, which means 9 through 12. In this course, we do the basic foundation for learning art processes, procedure, theories, histories, and art judgments. Students will experience with, experiment with variation art mediums, drawing, painting, printmaking, and ceramics, and you can see some of the art to the side. We have still lifes, printmaking, and portraitures. Now, as far as our 2D classes, which are drawing and painting, level 1, I, you must have Art 1 or completed Advanced Art 1. And again, this is all levels. In this class, students will learn how to develop more in-depth skills in drawing or in 2D mediums like charcoal, color pencils, pen and ink, and graphite. And they will build upon their drawing skills to develop painting techniques with acrylic and watercolor. We do perspective, we do some portraiture, and there's our pen and watercolor pictures. In Art 3, Drawing and Painting 2, uh, this is 11th through 12th graders, and this is a weighted level class. Students will continue to expand their understanding of drawing and painting, and students will increase their ability to see and analyze art by using elements and principles of design. And you can see some of our artwork off to the right-hand side. Again, some still life paintings. Yes, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is a still life painting. Um, and then, of course, portraitures with dramatic lightings and uh, photographs. Now for Art 4, Drawing and Painting 3, uh, this is a 12th, gre 12th grade level class. Every once in a while we'll have a junior within there too, but this is also a weighted class. Students will work independently to create one to two artwork pieces per six weeks that could be used for their art portfolio. A lot of students who are enrolled in Art 4 um, are also enrolled in the AP class. Now students get to choose their materials for their art assignments and students will also work on sketchbook assignments to develop their artwork and you can see the variations of developed art that has been created here too. And then lastly we have AP Studio Art. This is a 12th gra grade level class and this is a weighted level class too. Students will submit an art portfolio to College Board for college credit for in two categories, either um, investigation or selected work. And you can see the drawings that are here. Yes, they are all drawings. Again, very developed artwork pieces. People who are wanting to submit those portfolios and even concentrate on art in as their career after high school. Now let's talk about our 3D classes. For Sculpture 1, um, again, it's all level, it's not weighted, but students will learn how to produce works of art three-dimensionally using a number of various materials. Um, they'll do reliefs and, of course, in the round. You have uh, clay, cardboard, foam board, plaster, uh, sometimes even glass. I mean, it just kind of depends on which artwork piece that you're working with. Now for Sculpture 2, this is 10th through 12th graders, and again a few freshmen every once in a while, but mostly 10th through 12th. This is a weighted class. Students will continue to build skills to produce three-dimensional artwork and focus on craftsmanship and creativity. As you can see, we have some pots, we have some coal pots, and it's all about developing a theme that you're starting to create. Um, and again, you start to go larger and more in-depth, as you can see with these two pieces here. Now Sculpture 3. Um, it's for 11th and 12th graders. It is a weighted level class, and students will work independently to create three works of art per six weeks. And they could even use this for this portfolio, just like 3D 
or just like 2D design, a lot of 3D students who are in the third level class are enrolled in an AP level class too. Um, and you can also start to practice on the potter's wheel too, which is really nice. If you want to learn how to throw, that's where you would do this. And then we also have AP 3D design. This is a 12th grade level class and it is weighted. Students will submit an art portfolio to College Board for college credit in two categories. Again, the sustain, sustain investigation and selected artwork pieces. You can see some artwork that has been thrown um, on the wheel here with various designs and glazes, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we have AP History of Art class. Within this class, there are no prerequisites, but it is only for 10th 11th and 12th graders. It is a weighted level class, and this history of art class is uh, based around um, art movements from cane paintings to modern art, and we'll learn how um, art was created and even the history behind the artwork, um, like some famous pieces like maybe Starry Night or even the famous cave paintings. We'll also talk about historical events that were happening around them that did drive the artwork and why it is so important. And of course, if you take the AP test, you can earn college credit. We also do go on a field trip, and here are some pictures of our students who went on the field trips. If you have any questions about any of the art classes that are offered here at Bowie, please stop by one of the art teachers, and we will gladly help you decide and understand what classes that you want to take here. We look forward to seeing you in our art classes. Thank you.